Hi guys! Welcome to our very first non-podcast YouTube video. So, starting from this episode onwards, we're actually going to start pursuing YouTube. <laughs> and we're going to upload YouTube videos every Friday night. So that means the podcast itself will go up on streaming platforms on Monday morning, 5 a.m. And then the podcast videos will go up on Monday night. For this first one, we're going to start with our January favorites. Village kids. So we actually prepared <laughs> five things each. And yeah, that's that's what we're going to be talking about today. Okay, so but before that, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click on the bell icon. <laughs> <laughs> so weird. Down below, wherever it is. <laughs> okay. Because of Erin, there was this time where she visited me in my condo. <laughs> we had that day planned out. Like, we would eat, watch movies, you know, chill. But instead, we went on the Shopee app <laughs> the whole <laughs> afternoon. And we bought beads. <laughs> you finally got them. Yeah. It was late December. <laughs> no, dude. We got them in October. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, but I got oh. it from you late December. <laughs> that quarantine period, Jules. That's intense. <laughs> Which brings me to the second item. <laughs> Disinfectant. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Are we still surprised? Okay. No, but I love this one. Okay, when you use alcohol, when you touch something dirty, your hands are dirty again, right? But when you use this one, it, it's like a contact killing. But it has this power to repel it or whatever, so it won't get mm -hmm. dirty. It's good for three days. But it's not actually for the hands. It's more of things. So oh. like your clothes, your phone. So it creates it's like, like a, a waterproofer. Yeah, it, it, it creates like oh. a barrier. So I put it on like knobs, the light switches. I don't even know if you're supposed to do that, but I'm scared. <laughs> so I do it. They're the only one who has the certificate thing for um COVID. So it really works for COVID. What brand What's is the it? brand again? It's Germagic. It's from oh my gosh, wait, never mind. I'm not sure where it's from. I think it's from <laughs> I'm gonna guess and say that it's from Hong Kong, but I'm not so sure. Hmm. Yeah. How did it ship here? Yeah, from Manila. Yeah, and they actually have more things. You know those um I don't even know. Let's not cut. <laughs> So my next one, I can't live a year without a journal. So oh this was actually God. given to me by my sisters. From Milk Press, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So every week you have a weekly intentions. And then I love how they put there's always something to be thankful for and you get to um list it down. Oh. Yeah, so and then cute. there's things to be accomplished also. Like So, like, the priorities when I don't know which day of the week I'll actually be doing it. At least I'll, I won't forget and I'll jot it down here. I don't really care for the workout goals because <laughs> no, your girl doesn't work out. <laughs> it felt kind of weird that I wasn't doing a bujo. But it, this one's really fun too. Like, I'm, I'm really appreciating it. But I enjoy doing like my own bujo thing when you write everything. That's so therapeutic. We're getting Aaron on the bujo wagon, Aaron. It's coming, <laughs> it's coming, guys. Next on Feb. Five favorites, guys. You got one, huh? <laughs> okay, so the next thing. Wait, how many things have I shown? One, two, three. This is the fourth. One of my favorite books was given to me by my college best friend. There, um, there's a movie. On Netflix about this. Yeah. Oh, the right I watched places. that. Uh, I couldn't go beyond five minutes of it because it's nothing like the book. <laughs> I tried twice, but I couldn't. The book is so good. Like, I remember getting this, I think, from my last year of college, so like 2018. Damn. Oops, cut that. But oh my God. <laughs> Man, this book made me want to live. Because you know how I've been like such an introvert and become like such a homebody. But this book made me want to leave my house. Uh -huh. My gosh, I have to do things in my life. Ah, okay. <laughs> so, the, so the last one is actually a song. It's actually a worship song. It's a Christian song. 
highs and lows by light worship it's like my go-to song whenever i'm down highs and lows the lord you're with me either way it goes should i rise or should i fall so parang <laughs> i don't know like it's so comforting for me that line like wow i always run to people when i'm down and i should remind myself to always run to him because no one can understand us like he could and like whatever we're going through he's always there for us and we should never forget that like i it's so easy to be blinded by the world and to like listen to other people's opinions even though sometimes it's they're really genuine and you know it's just different it it hits you if it's god whenever i hear the song it makes me want to reflect like really go back to him and like spend time with him and everything so yeah that's that's my five things for january wow who's <laughs> going I next i was like with everything that you said from clutching my invisible pearls <laughs> like oh so meaningful <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't talking think about mine are meaningful balm. <laughs> <laughs> so for my first favorite because it's the winter season here I'm always on the hunt for like a really good lip balm because my my skin always is very good always been in the hunt very... for the for the best lip balm remember our phase of lip smackers oh, oh my god yeah. those yeah. things did nothing for my yeah. lips yeah it really smells good the flavor <laughs> and the smell But that's true. Atika's always been looking for like a heavy duty one. Is this the one? I think is this that is first the one, aid. Guys. First aid beauty. Yeah, it's first aid, yeah. Oh, I it's love ultra that. repair lip therapy. Have you guys tried it? I've heard a lot of things about it. Does <laughs> it really work? It's volume free. It works for me and my lips are like a desert. <laughs> Truly. I feel yeah. It's supposed to be really good for like sensitive skin and everything. Yeah. Um Yeah, so I tried it. Works for me. I love that. Hiram approves. I swear. The next one would be, um, like Julius, I guess. Journaling. I think I found my way back to, like, Yay! journaling again. So I prefer undated or just like blank as much mm-hmm. as possible in the journals, because I find that if it already has a layout, like if I don't fill up, mm-hmm. let's say I have Monday already, but I don't fill up Tuesday, I won't have Ghana anymore to do. One ah, gotcha. <laughs> yeah, I feel yeah. that. Yeah, you know. So instead, I do like just a regular notebook now. I have one for my to do lists and one for just general diary type. Mm-hmm. Yeah, writing not every night because I don't want to pressure myself for I'll stay as consistent <laughs> as possible. So it's more like whenever I have a thought and I have like the time that I just scribble and it doesn't have to be like a whole page. It can be half a page. Mm-hmm. Can be more little page. So these two, and then my cousin gave me this book, oh! the Bullet Journal Method. I only started on it maybe last month, and I'm just mm. going through it for in. And there are just such good tips. Just basically, consistency is key, and it doesn't have to look perfect. It's I think the that's the biggest method. struggle for me. I yeah, can just I imagine feel- Julia's bullet journal like. Oh my gosh, I would rip the page. If it wasn't perfect, I would rip the page. <laughs> That's the struggle I always have with journaling. And yeah, I guess the purpose of it is just to be functional, right? To be able to put yeah. your thoughts down in one place. My next one is AirPods. So this is something that I invested in in de- December. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I got the Pro. Okay, so I don't normally listen to music much. Anyone that really knows me knows I don't really like. And if I do play a song, it's the same song over and over. And Same. on <laughs> on my phone, and I just blast it out while I'm cleaning or whatever. So, I never really found use of the regular AirPods, but I'm a big user of ear plugs. Want to study if I want to work. Um, I like it being completely silent. Mm-hmm. And so oh. the nature of these is super useful for me. That's some expensive ear plugs you got there. <laughs> <laughs> I actually, I but it makes so sense. Yeah, it makes sense though. It makes sense. Not just the AirPods, but I'm also investing in listening to more podcasts and like, okay, I'm gonna really find use for this to make it mm-hmm. make the cost and the price point worth it. I'm listening to more audiobooks, going on more walks. At first, I was like, oh my gosh, it's already so expensive. Why will I buy a case for my <laughs> case? It's yeah. like the craziest thing. Same. But then again, it's glossy, so it scratches. Mm, but yeah. I was like, 
hell no. Nah. Like, even $5 more for just a case? No. And then I got gifted one. So, okay, perfect. My fourth one is a show. Dream Home Makeover. Mm. Yeah, Studio Magi. Compared to other home makeover shows, it doesn't have any of the drama that other ones have. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh my gosh, we're fixing this, like, person's <laughs> home. And then, oh, there's this unexpected leak or whatever and oh the budget will have to go up and all of that like I can do without but this one is all just they meet the person once in 10 minutes there's already the reveal you know yeah like, it's okay, fast yeah. like and that's I think I just want to see how the house will look at the end reminds me of I know like the fact that we all love what going through inspirations like during I quarantine know. when our Pinterest showed her entire future home <laughs> she showed us her basement her movie I did theater. Entire walkthrough of a house Went I don't through. have and I'm claiming it I'm <laughs> claiming it the fifth one is really a simple one it's soda water <laughs> I have like a memory from when I was like 11 or 12 and tasting the worst soda water ever like it had <laughs> it, I don't know and I just knew for sure like no never again yeah and Last year, we bought my mom a soda stream mm-hmm. because she really likes soda water. And finally, this year, I don't know what brought me to try it. <laughs> instead of having, <laughs> instead of drinking juices or Coke, I put cranberries, um, strawberries, and just it just makes life more exciting. What's <laughs> the soda stream? It's a machine that dispenses carbon dioxide into water. <gasps> So it makes That's it so cool. carbonated water. It's so simple and it's like more exciting than water. It's, I I find that I drink more water too because of it. That's good. So it's a good yeah. good investment, I guess. I love that. I love that you ended with soda water. <laughs> I literally <laughs> got this out of the so fridge. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Why you gotta do me like that? No, <laughs> actually, this is a lot more healthy. <laughs> companies i literally bought their whole series of one liter um juices so i tried super berries and then i tried like green tea and berries i tried uh, goji berry i was really not the type to appreciate apple juice that came from a carton um just because you know growing in the province i think and having so much access to Fruits, fresh. Like fresh juices. Oh my yeah. gosh, my favorite of all time is still um, if you go to the supermarket and you have them make you fresh orange juice that lasts yeah. like two days. That's my favorite all time. But I know that that's not practical, especially if you're stocking up for like weeks. When I tried this, I realized, oh, I actually really like it. And it's something that makes sure that I don't just drink coffee <laughs> every day and since it's like cold you just you just learn to love reaching for it in the fridge my next one is food as well so I'm sure you guys know this I love Samyang <laughs> oh my gosh so this is oh from 7-Eleven guys and I bought I bought like maybe 10 packs of this already. I I'm like suspending 10. judgment. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> One time I saw this I on care Instagram about your kidney. Like, yeah. Oh God, this better not be your lunch. Here's the Vienna sausage. <laughs> and this is an Eden cheese slice. So all three of this is my second Jan favorite. <laughs> I love it. You can make this in literally two minutes and have such a great comfort food meal. I will insert the pictures here. It's beautiful. <laughs> Try it, guys. The best, the best. You're welcome. All right. So coming from food, because, you know, I'm just really filling up the whole person here. When I wake up in the morning, all like groggy. Sometimes at night, it's cold. And then when you wake up in the morning, it's just like, oh, it's kind of dry and feeling on your skin. So I love this. This is an age clean skin i've watched a lot of videos on this beauty within i think mixed makeup also loves this and leah Yu. i was honestly sold on this because at first i thought it was just a toner it's not even use you know the most useful thing but then when i added it to my skincare routine oh my gosh i understand the hype it's so hydrating 
it's so worth it. I got the spray. So when I wake up in the morning, oh. I just mist my face. I think it's one of the more excessive purchases because it's not like the most needed part of a skincare routine, but I enjoy it. You might too. So get it if you want to try. (laughs) So my fourth one has actually been playing on repeat for the whole week that it's been announced. Um, But it's driver's license. One of my favorite lines there is something along the lines of her saying that she wanted, she got her driver's license and she said because uh, she wanted to come home to that person. You worked so hard to get something. And then when you finally get it, the person that you wanted to share that experience with is not in your life anymore and it's just so painful honestly when you first listen to the song you think that it's a cookie cutter song but it's really not it's so great I love it with all my heart and I think it deserves everything that's coming for it her EP is dropping late in the spring or something yeah so I'm so excited for Tuesday because that's when the Billboard Top 100 or Hot 100 comes out and I really think it's going to come out on top. I just have this feeling. Stream it because you got to support <laughs> some boss women out there. So my fifth one, I actually just got it. My first SLR oh, camera. Yeah. SLR film oh, camera. It's so pretty. So I'm so happy. It's beautiful. I was honestly on the fence of getting camera during COVID just because I felt where am I going to use it, right? I really just love the idea of just going on a walk and taking photos of things that just inspire me. I've been really eyeing this specific camera. So I got the Canon 8E1, which is um, just a really good basic film camera. I've yeah. always been into photography. So this has just been really a dream of mine. I'm, I won't be able to realize it in the same way as before, like going traveling and stuff. But hopefully like just going by the everyday and being able to appreciate moments like with at work and stuff so I'm excited about that so how about you Erin I think I go (laughs) with the same flow that Marga said I'm gonna start with a drink I did get sick early in (laughs) January I got really bad colds and also a really bad throat blister thing like my throat is really sensitive because one of my tonsils is larger than the other and when my throat hurts so much you know what the parents say drink honey drink lemon water ginger (laughs) those asian parent hacks (laughs) and my dad actually got this thing it's honey citron and ginger tea it's korean a big spoonful of this and then pour hot water in it and then stir and it's good to go it is so good, guys. Like, you should try it. It really soothes my throat. And even now, even if I'm not sick, I still drink it. Love that. Proactive. <laughs> We've had this in our fridge for so long. Because, like, <laughs> I don't like ginger. I don't like yeah. salabat. You know, salabat. Mm-hmm. I don't like that. Anything with ginger, I don't like. So I just did not touch it. And then when my yeah. parents forced me when I was sick, I was like, it's not that bad. <laughs> Do you still detect the taste of ginger? It's kind of spicy, but it's but, subtle. Mm, yeah, it's good. Like, it's so good. You should try it. <laughs> My next favorite is actually a show you guys would know. It is The Queen's Gambit. I liked it so much. Generally, it's about like genius, um, drugs, and like self destructive behavior. I don't even know how to play chess, guys. But it's a, it's such a good show, guys. Like, you don't have to understand chess to understand it. It's so good. Mm. It starts out kind of dark, though, but <laughs> just bear with it. Next, two favorites are actually uh, work-related. I hurt my back. and All right. Yeah, so... This work from home arrangement, it just calls for a lot of sitting down and just having to deal with such just bad positions. There are ways to make it better for yourself, you know, so why not make it better for yourself? So the first thing I got, 
It was given to me by my dad because of my back problems. He was like, I, you're kind of working weird. You know how with the laptop, you're always crouched down, right? And yeah. Then, you yeah. know, to go closer to the screen. And then your head's at a weird angle. So I've actually started working on an acrylic pedestal. It brings up my laptop Ooh, to eye level. Yeah. But that's not a favorite. That was like <laughs> a number favorite. I've moved on. The second thing is this. It's actually a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse. It's USB. Plug it in. So like I have to use an adapter, but it's so good. I can now use the pedestal and not be like... I can link a similar set, but any any Bluetooth keyboard and mouse will do. It is so... It's so Worth important the investment. you're working from home. Second is, because I was gifted this, I was like, mm, I think I need a mouse pad. <laughs> <laughs> Naturally, I went on Shopee <laughs> and I looked for desk pads, which are so much better. Okay, this one is like a faux leather, probably faux, because it was pretty cheap. This is oh. the smallest size. It's pretty big. I think it was like 200 pesos. Oh. And it's reversible. Okay, there are other colors too that are really cute. I highly recommend it. I will link it also for you guys. It is so good. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I could say it is my most favorite of all the favorites. <laughs> it's my Amazon Echo Dot. Oh my gosh. I love it so much. I use it every single day. It's a smart speaker. You talk to Alexa on it. So I placed it in my bathroom because that's where it gets the most use. I play a lot of music when I'm showering, when I'm getting ready, doing skincare. I listen to podcasts. I used to use like a Bluetooth speaker in the bathroom, but like every single time I'd have to like turn it on, set it up. The Bluetooth mm -hmm. is a paired. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's just... I don't know. No, that doesn't work for me. <laughs> like sometimes when it switches songs, the next song is a lot softer than the other one. You have to like turn up the volume. No, I would rather talk to Alexa and be like, Alexa, turn up the volume, please. She'd be like, yeah, yeah, go. <laughs> I want to see these conversations between you and Alexa in the bathroom. <laughs> but other than music, I also use it a lot for like scheduling. <laughs> you know, you miss stuff naturally. <laughs> Sometimes you just write it down and forget about it. It's yeah. natural. <laughs> so actually every morning and every night, I always ask Alexa, Alexa, what's on my schedule today? Or like, Alexa, what's on my schedule tomorrow? And I love that. It's so good. She just reads it out to you. Like you don't have to wow. open no app. <laughs> That's so Dina in 21st, 21st century Right? type of thing you know yeah about living the smart lifestyle guys like work smart don't work hard work smart yes <laughs> and you can ask her to tell jokes you can ask her about the weather sometimes i get a kick out of speaking tagalog to her and like she just doesn't understand i'm not lonely guys i'm not lonely <laughs> so yeah i guess that's the end of our john favorites how do you guys think? <laughs> uh, we definitely have a lot of stuff planned for you guys, both on our podcast and our YouTube. So stick around for that and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. Bye.